Thank you so much, Tim and Jeannie. I had mentioned earlier that I was going to give everybody who wanted to share an opportunity to share. Uh, Richard had a program lined up, and my eyes skipped over that por portion, but uh, I've just given you a little more time to think. Uh, <laughs> So if uh, anyone would like to share, I don't know which is it, do you want them to come up here or do you want them to just stand? However they... I don't know, Jeff, can you maneuver the thing? If, yeah. You can either come up here or, or stand if you'd like to share. I mean, nobody has to, but uh, if you'd like to just share something that was meaningful in your own life, uh, please do so now. I'm not good at speaking in front of people, so I'll do the best I can. I met Ruth about almost would have been a year this year, and she wanted me to come. And I said, okay, I would do it. She has taught me so much. She has brought me so much joy. That it wasn't going to occur. <laughs> Six months ago, I started coming every day to do breakfast. And the joy on her face just to do breakfast just made me feel good inside for me. She taught me so much. She gave me so much strength. When I was down, she was lifting me up. She made me pick out her dress, which I forgot to tell you guys which dress it was, but you guys found it. She knew she was going to go. I only pray and hope that I have the courage she has someday. And I will always love her. I'm Rich's sister, Elaine, and if it wasn't for Ruth, my youngest daughter was close with her, and she today is a nurse because of Ruth. Ruth is a very good person, she's a very good wife, very good mother, friend. I've never seen Ruth mad or upset. My dad loved her. My dad was very religious, and Ruth just fit in with the family. Well, I hadn't planned on saying anything, speaking, obviously, but I know that every funeral I've ever been to, I love hearing the stories about, uh, about the person. It just gives you an insight so my insight is quite a bit different than maybe a lot of you. Uh, Jeff was my best friend. Brucey was right there as well uh, during this time when I spent, um, I so the context is roughly 35 years ago. And uh, you said that you've never seen Ruth mad. <laughs> I have. <laughs> and I, I probably caused a lot of her anger, <laughs> along with Jeff and Brucey. And, uh, you know, the difference is uh, she had to love Jeff and she had to love Bruce. They were family. Uh, she didn't have to love me. Uh, I know she did. And a lot of times um, it didn't feel that way. But. Uh, you know, like the time at Pizza Hut when we got almost kicked out for shooting spit wads at the you know, mm -hmm. other people and stuff. It was crazy. I could see a lot of anger in her eyes <laughs> at that time. Um, so just imagine for the period of maybe four or five years of just this crazy kid that was a part of her life that was almost forced in. It was waking her up because I knew she had odd hours. You know, now I understand what third shift is like or different just weird shifts when you had to sleep at different times. You don't want any disturbances. You know, Jeff and I created a lot of disturbances. And so, <laughs> was, so we would get, at least I felt like we'd get some um, harsher aspects of Ruth, but 
you know, I never felt like that she hated me, even though maybe she should have. <laughs> but I guess what I'm getting at, I'm trying to paint this picture of what a younger, a little guy, a, a, a younger person would, would have felt from her, and it was more, Jeff kind of coined it today, it was just she was strict, and I also understand that she had you know, different sleep um, times. But what I'd like to tell you about is when I actually grew up, And had a family of my own. I wanted to bring my, my kids to show Ruth and show Dick. You know, these are my kids. And um, I think it's so impactful to me because you can look back on situations, we all can do that, and uh, certain ideas of someone are just blown out of the water, or just changed forever. And what I saw Showing my kids to Ruth and Dick was just utter love and compassion and sweetness. And it changed my whole um, view of her from that, from that time on. This is, this is 18 years, 19 years ago. No, Colt's 20, 20, 20 years ago, a very long time ago. And that changed my attitude towards her and opinion. And every time I talk to her since and, and I bring my kids over and, and we would have uh, just these sweet moments, and uh, I love her. You know, I just want everybody to know she was sweet, <laughs> but she was also strict. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I've known Ruth for probably 25, 30 years. Um, she would come in every Sunday at Halls, and she would even sit up in the lobby and wait for me to wait on her after church. And um, she got to know so many people that she didn't have to wait in the lobby anymore. She'd just walk in and say, hey, Ruth, come sit with us. Come on, hang out with us. So she would get something, and she, she didn't eat a whole lot. She'd always take um, part of her food home to Richard. Maybe get him a buster with onion and some onion rings to bring home. <laughs> she was the sweetest lady ever, and everybody loved her. She always had on these really bright sweaters. She loved her sweaters with all the, any holiday had bunnies, and, and like bunnies blowing, you know, <laughs> daffodils, you know, just, just <laughs> cute, cute stuff. And she always would say, oh, I got this. QVC, I got this, and she just had the cutest stuff on. And um, we got to know each other really well. We'd always exchange Christmas presents every year. And um, she loved her flowers in her yard. And I became a master gardener, and she said, Greta, can you help me? Yeah, sure. So I, I took care of her yard, I don't know, Richard, what, five, six years? And she loved her flowers. and. People would drive by and they'd always comment on how beautiful her yard was. And she just took such pride in that. And she would take pictures of the hibiscus, just everything. Andrangia, she just, I'd bring her new stuff and, and she loved her roses, loved her roses. And um, every time I went over, you know, like every, every two weeks or so, she's like, gotta stop in, you gotta say hi to me, you gotta come in and talk with me. And I would come in, and she was just the nicest person ever. She, she wasn't just my client at Halls. She just wasn't my client in a yard. She was my friend. And um, I'm just really going to miss her. And Richard, I, I pray for your, your safety, too. She, oh, when Richard was sick, she was just so, so upset. And uh, we all prayed. I prayed for her all the time, I prayed for you, and um, I'm just really going to miss her. I'll say something. Oh. Um, I didn't know Ruth as intimately as a lot of you guys, but uh, uh, she was tough. She was a tough lady. and. Uh, I, 
she probably uh, didn't have a very good uh, view of me. I kind of had, a, I guess, maybe a bad reputation to her because it was. I went to a lot of the uh, Jamaica trips in the early 2000s, and probably because she, she probably heard all the crazy stories that I, the things that I did in Jamaica from Dick. So she, she wasn't afraid to, she wasn't afraid to tell it like it is, you know. And so uh, about three years ago, I think when we were, we were all going on a, a Jamaica trip together and she was, she was going and I was going, I was like, oh man, you know, what, what is, what is she going to do to me? <laughs> I was kind of scared of her, you know. And so, uh, but we, we, we got to know each other and uh, things, were, things were a lot better. And I, uh, we got to know each other and it was, uh, it was, it was nice. And, and, Learned that she wasn't all that scary after all. <laughs> <laughs> she was tough. I guess I do have one thing to say. I she impressed me one time. She had me to take pictures of a little handicapped chap, uh, boy, and it impressed me that she ministered to. Ooh. To a lot of people. That no one ever knows about. And uh, I really respected her for that. So, and she was her. She was just filled with joy for that that little boy. So, it's cool. Um, sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, she was filled with a lot of wisdom, as you have mentioned. Um, she um, has she's brought me on a um, better better relationship with God. Um, She always encouraged me, um, and she um, brought a lot of love to my life. She never got the chance to meet my kids like she wanted, but um, I would show her pictures, and she she just adored it. She adored them, and I am planning on going to school this spring because of her. Um, she has really motivated me to um, make that leap, and I'm definitely going to miss her. She's she was a wonderful woman. Um, sang a lot when I was around her, and um, as far as being seeing her moon side, <laughs> I don't think I've seen it like some of you, but I did see her get on Richard a couple. <laughs> <laughs> but she'll definitely be missed and I've been thinking a lot about you guys so um, I really enjoyed getting to know both of you as well on this journey and um, I feel like you're a second family now so I definitely don't think I'm going to be a stranger <laughs> so thanks